CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. We're here today with Barry Semft. He is the Chief Executive Officer of the Grain Farmers of Ontario. Welcome today, Barry. Thank you. Okay, Barry, what is the GFO? GFO, Grain Farmers of Ontario, is the uh, result of uh, the amalgamation of uh, three commodity organizations that have been in existence for a good uh, number of years in Ontario, and that was the Ontario uh, Corn Growers Association, the uh, Ontario um, Ontario Wheat Producers Marketing Board, and Ontario uh, Soybean Association. So, uh, a number of years ago, the discussion started uh, amongst the grassroots uh, by those that were paying for the uh, the licensing fees and uh, and were using that organization for a number of their purposes. Uh, started wondering aloud why they were uh, three separate organizations because those three commodities are basically in a rotation anyway and it got them to start the discussion about whether one organization would be uh, better than the three. So after a, a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of uh, processes, uh, January 1st of uh, 2010, uh, marked the beginning of uh, Grain Farmers of Ontario. So now with the three organizations being together, um, obviously there's cost savings or things that uh, go with that, but what are the objectives of the GFO? Well, the objectives of GFO are uh, similar to those of the three uh, commodity groups, and that uh, is market development. Uh, in the case of wheat, ongoing uh, uh, option for wheat marketing by uh, wheat growers, and uh, the emphasis towards research along with uh, the extension of uh, information uh, to our producers, whether it's on uh, policy issues, agronomic issues, et cetera, is, is having that uh, information extended to our producers uh, about uh, timely issues that are key to uh, their production requirements. So it's, uh, as you mentioned, you're, you're representing uh, soybean, uh, wheat, and corn growers in the province. How many farmers would that encompass? In total of the three commodities, it's estimated to be in the order of 28,000 uh, producers. And how many, do you have any idea how many acres that would be? Uh, it gets to be in around uh, five and a half million acres. If you think about it, it really makes sense because as you, as you mentioned, uh, corn, soybeans and wheat are found in the same rotation on a lot of farms in Ontario. So. And so when there are opportunities or there are issues, you are able to attack those or take advantage of those and uh, act very quickly um, to the benefit of the producers. Uh, very much so. And again, a lot of these issues, whether they're market access or uh, market development, a lot of these, it's a process. So once you have the process in place, it doesn't matter whether it's corn, whether it's soy or wheat, you know, you, you move forward the emphasis on that particular commodity for that particular end market and, and move forward accordingly. So we can do it on, on three uh, commodities uh, instead of uh, uh, the isolated three as they were before. Well, Barry, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thank you for your interest in this.